our research study is entitled Resilience Among Nursing Students During COVID-19 Pandemic. And the presenters are Maria Fatima Elizabeth Leonidas, Bea Florina Limshaco, Angelo Gibral Lopez, and Jill Ann Marie Matula. Resilience is the ability to adapt in times of difficulties, tragedy, threats, trauma, or other situations which may trigger stress. Implementation of restrictions due to COVID-19 have caused loss of social networks and peer support, resulting in low resilience scores of the nursing students. The study aims to determine the level of resilience of level 4 nursing students during the COVID-19 pandemic. Statement of the problem. The following are the aims of the study in determining the level of resilience of level 4 nursing students during the pandemic. First is the demographic profile of level 4 nursing students, when they are grouped according to sex, family income, and location. Second is the level of resilience among level 4 nursing students in terms of self-reliance, self-competence, and reflective ability. Third is there is significant relationship between the level of resilience among level 4 nursing students when grouped according to sex, family income, and location. Fourth, if there is a significant difference between the level of resilience among level four nursing students when grouped according to sex, family income, and location. Hypothesis statement, there is no significant relationship between the level of resilience among level four nursing students when grouped according to sex, family income, and location. There is no significant difference between the level of resilience among level four nursing students when grouped according to sex, family income, and location. The study utilized quantitative descriptive research design. The researchers utilized this type of research design in order to describe each variable and after systematic analysis of the collected data to determine and describe the level of resilience of nursing students during the COVID-19 pandemic. The researchers utilized online surveys because it is a standard data gathering process that allows researchers to gather information or data efficiently and quickly. Participants. The participants, participants of the study were the level four nursing students from four sections from a university in Bacolod enrolled during 2021 to 2022. With a sample size of 123 taken using Slovin's formula, the researchers utilized stratified sampling. The participants were categorized into sections A, B, C, and D, and the researchers used simple random sampling. Results and discussions. For the demographic profile of the participants, the results show in, in Table 3 reveal the overall profile of the social demographic data of the participants and frequency distribution and percentage were used to acquire results. For sex, 73.2% were females and 26.8% were males. For family income, 48.8% of the participants belong to a middle income family, 33.3% belong to high income, and 17.9% below belong to low income. For location, 22.8% of the total participants live in rural areas and 77.2% live in urban locations. The level of resilience of level 4 nursing students based on self-reliance, self-competence, and reflective ability. Uh, table 4 shows the level 4 nursing students' level of resilience based on three components from the study of Walls et al. Uh, using mean and standard deviation, all three components means uh, fall within the range of 3.5 through to 4.49. Uh, 49, based on resilience scale interpretation, uh, indicating a high level of resilience among level 4 nursing students. The relationship between the levels of resilience of level 4 nursing students and demographic profile. Table 5 shows that there is no significant relationship between the level of resilience among level 4 nursing students. The null hypothesis is not rejected, therefore the results show that the profile variable sex, family income, and location are not indicators in the level of resilience of nursing 4 students. The difference between the levels of resilience of level 4 nursing students and demographic profile. Table 6 shows that the findings show that there is no significant difference between the level of resilience of level 4 nursing students and profile variables. The null hypothesis is not rejected that there is no significant difference. Therefore, the results indicate that the level of resilience of level 4 nursing students are statistically the same when grouped according to profile variables, sex, family income, and location. In conclusion, the 123 participants from level for nursing students of a local university is revealed to have high levels of resilience, which have no significant relationship with sex, family income, and location, and has no significant difference between level of resilience and sex, family income, and location. Nursing students are therefore equipped with resilience that may allow them to handle difficult situations, adapt to sudden changes, and recover and bounce back from obstacles better without compromising their mental health, well-being, and quality of life. And now for the recommendations. To nurse educators, incorporate resilience training in the clinical setting. Educators can better prepare the students for the challenge they will face at their future endeavors as registered nurses. To parents, this may serve as a basis of knowledge for parents on how the children cope during a pandemic and how it affects their resilience. To nursing student counsel, the council may provide activities and programs such as helplines, spiritual tutorials, relaxing and unwinding events, and other activities that may increase the resilience of students. 
to nursing students. Nursing students need to develop their resilience to achieve very high levels of resilience. Nursing students may seek guidance from the guidance office of their university and approach figures of authority that can help them manage school or other duties that they may be having a problem with. To school administrators, school administrators may conduct a similar research on the resilience of college students, not just in the College of Nursing, but throughout the whole university. Lastly, to future researchers. Future researchers can tackle the results of the students during other university circumstances, which may affect the life and academic performance of the nursing students. Colleges. This research study is personally of great value to each member of the group. Student nurses, we have experienced firsthand the sudden shift from traditional face-to-face -face classroom setting to online class. We know how big a change it was and how it affects our education, especially with the addition of many distracting factors and different situations of each student. We understand that we all do not have the same resources. However, we pulled through these situations with resilience. Thus, we would like to express our gratitude to several personalities for assisting and guiding us in the accomplishment of this study. We are grateful to our instructors, Mr. O.J. Jimenez, Dr. Glenn Dolendo, and Ms. Rica Flores for the guidance and patience in teaching us from the start of this project and for providing us honest criticism and full suggestions to improve our study. We would also like to thank the panel members, Dr. Tony Anna Chica, Dr. Joe Bertil Los Santos, Dr. Mary Beth Diva, Mr. O.J. Jimenez, and Ms. Sarah Jane Rosales for their support and encouragement of this study and for giving us constructive feedback and suggestions to improve our study. We, were, we are indebted to our parents who provided us with the equipment needed to start and continue this study and for supporting us in this research. We are eternally thankful to our participants without whom this study would not yield results. Lastly, we give thanks to God who gifted us the knowledge and ability to begin this study.